Today I'm going to be going over uh, Vanity.Solutions Rust Script. The website is Vanity.Solutions. You can go to the store. I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Rust Script today. But if you'd like to see videos of the uh, full cheat, which includes Aimbot, ESP, all that stuff, there will be channels up on my uh, channel for it, or videos up on my channel. Um, you could buy with Cash App or Amazon Pay. And with Amazon Pay, it's... Um, just like buying anything on Amazon, it just uses your Amazon account and payment methods on there to do it. And um, once you purchase, you could go to your dashboard and you'll have the option to download the client or reset your hardware ID. Once you do that, you could run it, launch the Rust script, and come in game. You can press the insert key on your keyboard. If you have a 60%, uh, there's there's little like uh, shortcuts to hit insert and all that stuff. So you won't have any problems opening the menu or anything. Um, here's a list of all the guns. Here's a list of all the scopes. Here's a list of all the attachments, like the muzzle attachments. Um, there's enable script, which enables and disables the recoil control. There's mini window, which shows your current weapon, current scope and current muzzle. Toggle crosshair when ADS allows it to turn the crosshair that's in the center here off when I'm holding my right click, like when I'm aiming. There's a slider for inaccuracy, which allows you to appear more legit with your recoil, but it doesn't control it as well. That's also what the legit mode does, makes you appear more legit without controlling it as well. In config, uh, there's a selectable wheel. I have mine set at B, but if I hold it, it opens up a little bar where I could select the uh, whatever weapon or scope or anything I want. So um, it makes it a lot faster to do it like that instead of going in and selecting it out of here or hitting a keybind for it. With these, you want to uh, set them exactly as they are in game. So if you go into your um, console, that's how you get your sensitivity. That's how you get your ADS sensitivity. And that's how you get your FOV. And you want to set those in the script all to what you have in game. And then it will control your recoil perfectly. Now to get on with the actual recoil control of the script. First I'm going to start off with uh, AK. I can do that by going there, click an AK. As you can see, that's me not moving my mouse at all. I could do it crouching down or standing up or not aiming in. At all. So that's not aiming in. I could crouch. I could also crouch. In. Or I could stand. In. And it controls the recoil perfectly for me. Um. You could also uh, aim around while the control 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 control. it does the same stuff for pretty much every single weapon in the game. I don't think there are any weapons that it doesn't have. But uh, I'll do so I'll test some uh, scopes and stuff. Let's see, hollow. I go in here, select hollow, and then it controls the recoil. Program. over some of the LR, set my scope to none, set my weapon to LR, here's crouch, he's standing up, I'll show you um, LR hollow, Here's MP5. Let me turn my laser on. Let's see, here's Tommy. Just 
gives you a huge upper advantage when you are able to aim around and not have to control recoil. I forgot to mention this, but this is also one of the best priced scripts out there for the features it comes with. And it comes with a bunch of um, features that pretty much every other script doesn't have, just like the weapon wheel here. You won't really see that on anything else. But here's a M2 8X. And it's okay to uh, make the recoil a little bit harder for the script to control because of how randomized it is with the new update that Rust put out. But um, I'm still it's pretty nice to use. But I'll do some of the muzzle stuff. Let's see. I'll try the boost. Here, if I go to AK, muzzles, muzzle boost. Muzzle boost. Let's see, let's try silencer. A lot of dead bodies on the ground. And then we'll do muzzle break. I don't know why. You would choose to use muzzle break, especially when you're scripting. But if you would like to, you do what you want. It does make the recoil a good amount more accurate, but I don't think it's worth the disadvantages of the muzzle break. And, yep. Yeah. That's the end of the video. If you guys are interested in purchasing, you can purchase at uh, vanity.solutions. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, join the Discord down below, all that sorts of stuff. I'll have a bunch of information in the description. And yeah, have a good day.